Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can easily create a task from a Microsoft Team conversation or chat. Um, you know, usually when you uh, want to assign yourself a task, you know, something to do, right? You kind of have to manually navigate to uh, Plan and Planner or maybe a Microsoft To Do, which is your personal uh, task list, and assign, you know, essentially input the task, uh, you know, manually and uh, you know, assign it to yourself. Well, luckily, we actually have uh, an automated way of doing so. Um, if let's say you receive um, a chat, you know, uh, some sort of text in Microsoft Teams, uh, you can easily create a task uh, right from within uh, that particular conversation. Let me show you how. So here I have this finance team, and within one of the channels, Mary asked me to work on a budget, as you can see, all right? She, she mentioned my name and she wants to work on a budget. And of course, I'm part of many different teams and channels. I really don't want to forget um, this particular task, otherwise Mary will be disappointed. So what I can do is this. Um, I can click on the three dots and uh, under more actions, there is a field over here. Uh, there is an option over here called create a task. So let me click on that. And essentially uh, it is going to uh, create a task. I can, by the way, um, you know, change the title. So maybe let's change it, uh, work on a budget. All right, and what you can also do here is, you know, assign uh, some, you know, properties to that particular task. But very important, you have to specify where you want to create this task in. All right, by default, uh, it defaults to Microsoft To Do, so uh, by default it will be, um, you know, put into my Microsoft To Do, which is essentially my personal, uh, you know, task management application, and I have different lists within my, you know, a personal Microsoft To Do. But I can also put it into one of the plans and planner. All right, since we are part of the finance team, why, why don't we assign it to the plan that already exists uh, under that uh, particular you know, team? All right, so I'm going to do just that. And of course, I can assign a bucket, you know, whatever it is, you know, the due date. Uh, let's maybe assign a due date, um, you know, a progress, you know, priority, all that stuff. Let's not worry about it. And I'm going to add a task. All right. All right. And uh, by the way, um, I don't know if you noticed, but be before I clicked uh, add a task, um, there was also a checkbox, you know, post an update uh, to uh, Microsoft Teams chat. So it's actually notifying um, Mary that um, I, I got this note and uh, I assigned a task to myself. So let me show you where this shows up now. So if I now go uh, to Planner. All right, uh, because I assigned a task to uh, that particular plan in Planner. So uh, let me go ahead and refresh the screen so you can see. Perfect, right here. You see, here's a task that I created uh, from within Microsoft Teams. And of course, I can uh, now uh, pretty much uh, you know, add additional information. Uh, and uh, it, by the way, if you notice in Notes section, which is very, very convenient, uh, it actually uh, does, you know, specify where the information came from, so you can always uh, kind of trace it back. But obviously, over here, uh, you can uh, add additional information. Now, what does not really uh, happen, uh, if you notice, uh, if I put it into Microsoft To Do, then uh, obviously uh, it is assigned to me automatically because it's my personal To Do uh, application. But because I put it into Planner, it does not automatically assign it to me. So you kind of have to. Uh, assign it to yourself uh, if you want uh, you know, to be in charge of that. Uh, but once again, it would be assigned to you automatically if you were to uh, you know, put the task into your personal Microsoft To Do. All right, uh, so that's really everything I wanted to show you today. Um, I think uh, this is a huge time saver if um, you are uh, working in teams, part of many different teams and channels. There are all these different texts floating around and obviously you don't want to miss uh, some of these tasks, um, uh, it's an easy way to create tasks uh, without, you know, manually switching the applications and creating tasks in different applications, you know, manually. You can all do it from within Microsoft Teams. All right, so thank you very much for listening and watching. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com.